Hi, welcome back to Dallas Sports. Today we're going to be focusing on drop kick. How to drop kick a rugby ball. We're just going to utilize a few rugby balls as well as footballs uh, to break down what it takes to be able to be consistent and also to get good height, especially restarts. Okay, um, nowadays in the game of sevens, uh, it's important to be able to you know, kick a ball precise so that you can win it back. But you can actually utilize that same methods in 15s to win the ball back and it's very effective. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got a white zone, we've got a yellow zone, and we've got a red zone. As you can see, the blue line is acting as the halfway line. Okay, and the red, the red hoop is where the center of the pitch is. So, I'll, so my approach, I'm gonna show you the approach and hopefully you could utilize it. Or if you're already doing it, maybe there's one or two things that you can pick up uh, and implement. When you, when you drop to for restarts, it's important to sometimes, you know, get the timing right. And what I do is to get my timing right is I utilize a football. I'm not gonna kick the ball, I'm just gonna practice the bounce. So feet together or feet shoulder width apart, whichever is comfortable. My forwards or the people chasing, I'm a right foot kicker, so I'm gonna kick to the to my left. Okay, if you're a left foot kicker, obviously whichever is comfortable for you. So the idea is keep the ball, keep the ball on the thigh, the kicking thigh, because your first movement would be the opposite foot forwards, okay? But instead of doing that, the idea would be to practice the drop, just like so, as if you're gonna be kicking it, okay? Can you see how I'm bending the knee that I'm, my front foot, I'm bending that knee really to get underneath it. Next one would be, you know, I would say about five to 10 drops. See if you can practice that, see what you feel. Next point would be, once you're making contact, okay, the contact should be on the laces to get underneath the ball. So don't be, don't be in a rush to strike the ball. All right, I'm not also, I'm not throwing the ball down. It's a, it's a, it's just a nice release. Look, my hands give way. I have the ball, okay, in the palm. So if I'm kicking that way, one one of the hands, of my right hand, would be slightly higher than my when, than my left hand. Okay, just like so. Right, not a not a throw, just a release. Okay, so let's move over to dropping the ball and then striking it. Now what's my toes? I'm, I'm tilting my toes upwards towards my chin. Okay. Just like so, okay? Over to the next point. When you strike the ball, okay, for maximum height, it's important as you're striking it, to sometimes fall back as well, because you're going for height. So this, that's what I'm gonna do now with the football. I'm gonna kick it straight up about three seconds one two three okay three seconds three for direction try to kick it straight up and then catch it okay so this is what it will look like okay next one sometimes we think we just drop the ball and kick it if you kick for you know like a drop goal then it's slightly different because there's a lot more momentum going forward, um, leaning over the ball, chest over the ball type of thing, and also dropping the ball between your feet is important when you, when you go, you know, for distance. But for restart, it's completely different or slightly different. So I'm gonna try and hit it where the white cones are. Okay, so I'm not gonna force it. I'm not gonna kick it quickly. I'm just gonna wait for the ball to sit up and see if I can hit it in the box. Move over to the rugby ball. Okay, so this time 
when I'm kicking the ball, it's important my fingers are spread. Okay, if I'm kicking, so if I'm playing that way, the seam of the ball is not facing there where I'm kicking. I'm going to be kicking towards the left touch line. So the ball, even though I'm square, I'm facing square, the ball, the seam of the ball is facing where I'm going to be kicking. Because I'm going to approach the ball from a 45 degree angle. Okay, so if we're playing that way, and I'm going to kick towards the left touch line, I'm not going to hold the ball like this. I'm going to drop the ball so that my foot is striking and wrapping around on a 45 degree angle. Okay, I hope that makes sense. So let's have a look. I just wanted to make a short video obviously about drop codes. Uh, we'll, we'll make a follow a follow up on if you drop for distance. Because when you drop for distance, okay, when you catch it obviously there's a there's a follow through to it. It's not a it's not stationary to get underneath it. So hopefully we can help whoever is out there wondering how do you how do you drop a ball for height? What do you need to do is it's just a kick. It's actually the drop. It's actually how you drop the ball. The ball's got to have a still drop and you've got to get your timing right. So get a basketball or get a football, even on a hard surface, and just release the ball and let the ball sit up really high. And then get, get used to that movement. If this is the ball, ball drops, comes up, that's when you strike it. Okay, but if, uh, if there's any questions about it, as usual, leave it in the comments below. And thank you for everyone that has been subscribing. Thank you.